a great physicist, Richard Feynman, once said that if one has to reduce the scientific history into one statement, that would be, all things are made of atoms, which are the ultimate smallest particles. However, we now know that these particles are composed of even smaller units called subatomic particles. Let's perform a small activity to test the presence of these subatomic particles. Turn on the tap so that there is a thin trickle of water coming out. Now take a plastic spoon and rub against your clothes. This works really well if you are wearing clothes made of nylon or acrylic. Bring the rubbed side of the spoon near the water. You will observe that the trickle of water moves towards the spoon. Do you know why this happened? Let's search for the answer. The spoon is made up of several atoms. The atoms in the spoon have both positive and negative charges. When you rub the spoon against your clothes, you pulled some of the negative particles out of the atoms of the spoon. These electrons are now inside your clothes. As a result, the spoon is having less negative charge. Now, the atoms of water are also having positive and negative ends. When you brought the spoon close to the water, the atoms of water aligned themselves in such a way so that the negative ends faced the spoon. These negative and positive charged particles were later named as the electrons and protons respectively. Together with them, there is one more particle that does not have any charge and that is known as the neutrons. All three of them are the subatomic particles and together form an atom. Through this chapter, let us gain an understanding of the subatomic particles, the various atomic models, atomic number and mass number, isotopes and its properties.